My name is Jessie and I hope you guys are doing great on this very beautiful sunny day. Today I'll be reading a story for you guys. This one's called Franklin in the Dark by Paulette Berkmuth and Brenda Clark. This is Franklin, and Franklin is a turtle. Franklin is a turtle. But over here, we see that he's not wearing his shell. He's actually sitting right beside it, right? And it looks like he's sitting in his room, and it's very dark. Let's see what it's about. Franklin could slide down a riverbank all by himself. He could count forwards and backwards. He could even zip zippers and button buttons. But Franklin was afraid of small, dark places. And that was a problem because... Look at this Franklin. Look at him. He looks so happy and I think that's him sliding down a riverbank and we see I see another animal here I think those are frogs and I see a yellow butterfly there right there's flowers look at him so happy Franklin was a turtle he was afraid of crawling into his small, dark shell. And so, Franklin the turtle dragged his shell behind him. There you go. He's afraid of small spaces, small dark spaces. And Franklin is a turtle, so his shell can be very small, and dark right so that's why he has to drag his shell behind him every night franklin's mother would take a flashlight and shine it into his shell see she would say there's nothing to be afraid of she always said that she wasn't afraid of anything but Franklin was sure that creepy things, slippery things, and monsters lif lived inside his small, dark shell. Hmm. Do you ever feel that way when you're in your bed and you're covered with your blanket? You think you, you get a little afraid there might be something under your bed or... Right, that's kind of what's happening here, right? Franklin's mom is making sure there's no ghosts, there's no slimy creatures and creepy things living in his shell, right? But this, you see those little creatures over here? That's what Franklin is thinking is in his shell. So, Franklin went looking for help. He walked until he met a duck. Excuse me, duck. I'm afraid of small, dark places. And I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Maybe, quack the duck, quack, quack, quack. You see, I'm afraid of very deep water. Sometimes when nobody is watching, I wear my water wings. Would my water wings help you? Hmm, no, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of water. Ah, so now Franklin is off to find some help. What can he do? What can help him not be afraid of his small dark shell, right? But we notice that his duck friend is afraid of something as well. It's different, but he's also afraid of something. 
And there's his water wings. He's afraid of deep water. So the next friend. So Franklin walked and walked until he met a lion. Excuse me, lion. I'm afraid of small, dark places. And I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Maybe, roared the lion. You see, I'm afraid of great, loud noises. Sometimes when nobody's looking, I wear my earmuffs. Would my earmuffs help you? No, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of great loud noises. Look at that. And again, we see another friend who doesn't have the same fear as Franklin, but he also has a fear of his own, right? Which are loud noises. So Franklin walked and walked and walked until he met a bird. Excuse me, bird. I'm afraid of small, dark places and I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Maybe, chirped the bird. I'm afraid of flying so high that I get dizzy and fall to the ground. Sometimes when nobody is looking, I pull my parachute. Would my parachute help you? No, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of flying high and getting dizzy. There we see another friend, not the same fear, but afraid of something else. But it doesn't help Franklin. Will Franklin find someone who can help? Let's see. So Franklin walked and walked and walked and walked until he met a polar bear. Excuse me, polar bear. I'm afraid of small, dark places and I can't crawl inside my shell. Can you help me? Maybe, growled the bear. You see, I'm afraid of freezing on icy cold nights. Sometimes when nobody is looking, I wear my snowsuit to bed. Would my snowsuit help you? No, said Franklin. I'm not afraid of freezing on icy cold nights. Franklin was tired and hungry. He walked and walked and walked until he met his mother. Oh, Franklin, I was so afraid you were lost. You were afraid. I didn't know mothers were even afraid, said Franklin. Here's the mother. She must have been looking all over for him while he was walking and walking and meeting all his friends. She must be very worried, right? Well, did you find some help? She asked. No, I met a duck who was afraid of deep water. Hmm, she said. Then I met a lion who was afraid of great loud noises. Uh-huh, she said. I think she's realizing something. Something similar among these animals that Franklin was talking to. Hmm. And then I met a bird who was afraid of falling and a polar bear who was afraid of freezing. Oh, she said. They were all afraid of something. Hmm, said Franklin. It was getting late. Franklin was very tired and very hungry. 
they walked and walked until they were home. There's Franklin, still dragging his shell. Franklin's mother gave him a cold supper and a warm hug. And then she sent him off to bed. Good night, dear, she said. There's Franklin, and the mom is giving him a nice warm hug. He just had dinner, it looks like. He's ready to go to bed. Let's see what happens. Well, Franklin knew what he had to do. He crawled right inside his small, dark shell. He was sure he saw creepy things, slippery things, and a monster. But he said a brave good night. Look at Franklin. He is facing his fears, even though he's very afraid of small dark places. He said, I'm brave and I'm going to face these fears. And he's crawling right inside his shell. And then, when nobody was looking, Franklin the turtle turned on his nightlight. <gasps> that is perfect. The end. Thanks friends for reading this book. What did you guys notice between Franklin and his friends, the polar bear, the owl, the lion, hmm. They all were afraid of something. They all had their own fears, right? But just like Franklin at the end, you see? Just like Franklin at the end, he found something that could help him face his fear, which is turning on his nightlight in a shell. Or like the polar bear, who would put his snowsuit on when nobody was looking, or the duck who wore his water wings, right? And we see that all of these characters, all of these animals were able to find something that helped them with their fears, right? All right, friends, thanks for reading with me, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.